Your WCBI First Alert AccuWeather Forecast on CW4 with meteorologist Trevor Burchett. Our weekend is quickly coming to a close, and as we start off the new work week, here's a look at what we can expect over the next several days. The good news is, for now, plenty of sunshine for the next several days, but that sunshine means temperatures are on the way up. The heat and humidity is back, unfortunately. Now, all that moisture also means we have the chance for some spotty showers before maybe another cold front makes it in here by the end of the week. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. But let me start you out with a look at what's happening outside right now. This is downtown Columbus looking off to the north and west. A high atop the studios of WCBI. Hardly a cloud in the sky right now. And generally, we're going to stay that way overnight tonight. The closest weather system is just off to our north. There is a stalled uh, stationary front up there. So there's a little bit of rain in uh, southern Missouri, southern Illinois. It's going to stay up there. Don't think it makes it to us. So that means we stay mostly clear and dry overnight tonight. Overall, pretty nice. We're going to be down to right around 60 degrees by the time you wake up. So not quite as cool as we have been the last several nights. Southeasterly winds helping to keep us a little more mild anywhere from about three to seven miles an hour. And as I mentioned, as you're starting off the work week tomorrow, looking pretty nice as well. 9 a.m. as you're headed out the door, 66 degrees with some southerly winds, maybe a light jacket if you're up very early in the morning. But overall, we're going to be warm as we go through the day tomorrow. 83 degrees for the high tomorrow. A few clouds passing in here by the afternoon. A very nice day. Now, there is a potential for some afternoon sprinkles here or there. I'm not completely sold on it, but don't be shocked if you see an isolated shower here or there. South southwesterly winds, notice they're shifting a little bit from the south to the southwest. That is what's going to help us continue to warm up here over the next several days. Our average high for this time of year, 75. We're going to be 10 degrees above that for the middle portion of the week. 85 Wednesday, 85 Thursday. And then I mentioned the potential for maybe a second cold front to come in here. That's going to be on a Friday night into Saturday. Still a little bit up in the air on the timing with that. But as of right now, it looks like we will see a little bit of a cool down at least going into the weekend. Not as dramatic of a cool down as we saw recently, but still a little bit closer to where we should be for this time of year by the weekend. Now I mentioned to you that stationary boundary up to our north and west. And it's stationary for a reason. It's not moving anywhere. It's going to stay right there. And anytime you have a boundary like this, we have the chance for some showers nearby. I generally think that's going to be up to our north and west over the next several days. But Monday, Tuesday could see an isolated shower. Don't bet on it, though. I think most of us are going to stay dry. This cold front not making any forward progress, at least for the next several days. So a 10% chance of rain for Monday, 10% Tuesday. No rain expected for Wednesday, and then as that cold front approaches, we are going to be watching for the potential of some more widespread showers, especially on Friday. That looks like our rainiest day of the week. Still not a total washout, but the chance is there for some showers. And then it looks like hopefully we'll see a drying pattern going into the weekend. Still a 30% chance of rain for Saturday, and maybe a few isolated showers left over for Sunday. But hey, right now we're not going to worry about the rain because... We have a dry stretch of weather here for the next couple of days. Partly cloudy skies, much warmer though. Highs into the low and mid 80s for tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday. Maybe some showers Thursday, better chances on Friday, and then those could also linger into the weekend. Again, we're staying warm for now, looking like we could cool off a little bit going into the weekend. Overnight lows look to stay for right now in the low to mid 60s.